Ali. <laughs> well, there you go. She chose the bear. <laughs> What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire. Your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. All right. Thank you. Thank you. You're far too kind. <laughs> you guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. Poor favor. <laughs> Come on. Let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. Okay, okay, party people, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. All right, folks, what are we talking about today, folks? Man, oh man. So the driving season is coming up. We have uh, uh, Memorial Day coming up, basically summertime. And we already see the gas prices is still up there. Yeah. So I put premium gas in old Betsy here. So it's about four, four ten over here in Atlanta, and we're supposed to have the cheapest gas in the nation. So it's already hurting our pockets. Now, on top of all that, Biden has decided to let the Trump tax cuts expire. What? So in other words, he's raising taxes. The president says that he wants to let the tax cuts, the Trump tax cuts, expire. If that law expires, it does raise taxes on almost every American. So does he still support that expiring without anything else in place? So, look, uh, the, as you said, the president is going to uh, allow, uh, is going to, is, 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 is going to let the Trump tax cut expire. Uh, and he was very clear, but he will not raise taxes on anyone making less than four hundred thousand uh, dollars a year. That Yep, that's our press secretary, the Labesian, Haitian immigrant, cringe Jean Pierre over here. Yeah. You know, I'm so tired of her saying, uh, let's be clear. Whenever they say that, you know they're lying. He was clear from the beginning. He was clear doing this. Oh my goodness. Anyway, they're letting the tax cut expire. And remember when the tax cuts came through and Miss uh, Nancy Pelosi said there were crumbs. In terms of the bonus that corporate America received versus the crumbs that they are giving to workers to kind of put the schmooze on is so pathetic. It's so pathetic. Yes, Miss Pelosi, the millionaire, the one who is uh, who's bad in a thousand in her stocks options. She's all, she don't lose in her stocks, but she says the little crumbs that Trump gave us did not make a dent and doesn't, you know, it doesn't matter. It's unpatriotic is what she said. So there you go. There's a, uh, a funny meme that I've seen that shows the evolve, the evolution of a Democrat party. All right. Back in the sixties, the Democrat party was majority farmers. In the seventies, they became the laborers, the manufacturer workers. The, uh, eighties and nineties, it was Wall Street. Now, present day, the liberals, the Democrat party is nothing but fat, la dollar sign beings and fat men. With rainbow shirts. Yeah, that's your Democrat party now. So miss me with all that. You could have that party. It has evolved from the 60s to now. And look what we have now. A bunch of crybabies. A bunch of girly men's. A bunch of Trantifas. <laughs> anyway, now back to the tax cuts. Fox Business has broken down Bidenomics. And let's go. 
Let's start first. We were just having a conversation about all of the costs Americans have incurred under Joe Biden and how much harder it is for the average family to get by. Now he wants to let these tax cuts expire uh, on the American people, basically taking more money out of your pocket when people are already struggling. Your reaction to this? Yeah, I mean, think about how bad the economy is today, how bad inflation is today with Biden inflation, and then add 20 percent of a tax rate to small businesses. If the Trump tax cuts expire and we don't renew those next year, that means that small businesses go from a 21 percent tax rate to a 43.5 percent tax rate. If you're a small business, that means you're cutting jobs. That means you're making you're not expanding your business. You're not doing capital improvements like you used to do. We we have been able to buffer Biden inflation right now because of the current tax climate that we have in America right now that has given us a strong economy. If we go backwards and we lose those tax breaks to the businesses that supply those everyday Americans with jobs, we were going to be declining significantly economically. We've been able to buffer that with Biden inflation because of the current tax climate. Right. If that reverses and we go back, we're going to be in a horrible economic situation next year. Now, I get it if you're a welfare queen and you vote Democrat. I get it. If you're a federal worker and you will vote Democrat, I get it. But if you are a regular schlub like myself who pay taxes, who got to go out here and compete with other people, and you still, and you still vote Democrat, man, you deserve this. You deserve this tax hike. Congressman, quickly, the I'm going to let the taxes expire line for Biden has been an applause line for him at a lot of his events. Why do you think that's happening? I, I don't understand it. If you understand economics, you understand small businesses and the way small businesses work. You don't want those to expire because those small businesses are what provides jobs for your families. Mm. Not to mention that he also wants to increase taxes by seven trillion dollars. Well, who's going to pay for that? Everyday Americans are going to pay for that. And so you think that additional twelve thousand dollars a year that you're paying in additional expenses just to live the way you were living mm. three years ago, and then you add seven trillion dollars in taxes on top of that, that will have a huge huge negative impact on the economy, a huge negative impact on small businesses that have been able to flourish under this current tax environment. And so Donald Trump tax cuts relieve the burden off the working folks. And with the times that we have right now, inflation, no. shrinkflation, gas prices, baby fees, <laughs> uh, HOA <laughs> fees, all these fees, Mr. Biden is going to let these tax cuts expire to put on more burden onto us. Yeah. So something we have to give, man. Can't wait for November. Matter of fact, scratch that, scratch that. Guys, do not vote on election day. You have to vote earlier than that. Okay. If your state is one of these states that allow early voting, Make sure you go in and vote early and bring a friend. All right. We've got to make a statement. And another thing, do not believe in these polls either. There's something called the, um, the Bradley effect. Um, it's a, it's a, um, people will believe in polls and say, Trump is winning by 20 points. I'm going to stay home. I don't need to vote. He's winning anyway. And then you wake up the next day and he lost because you you stayed at home. That happened to a candidate named Bradley up in California. So they coined it after him, the Bradley effect. He was supposed to be the first black uh, governor of California, I believe. And he believed in the polls. Everybody else believed in the polls. Oh, he's going to be the first black uh, governor of California. And people stayed home. All right. The media is going to try to pull this on us. Do not fall for that. Do not believe in the polls anywhere from September, October, November. Do not believe in any polls. Okay? Get up, get out, bring a friend, and vote early. Okay. Don't wait until the day, the first week of November, because anything can happen. Anything can happen as far as you being sick, you being called to work, Something. You got to go out of town. Something. All right. So get it out the way. The first week of early voting, 
Bring your ass out there and vote, okay? Let's make a statement. Black MAGA, stand up. If you guys got any value out of my content, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends. And tell your mama I said hi. <laughs> all right, all right. Till next time, guys. I'll see you again. And all you liberals, get your ass off my lawn. <laughs>